Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Virgos, we're going to get right into your reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys today. Let's get to it. it came out was high priestess all right virgos we already know virgos dominate the tarot space <laughs> so a lot of you guys are tarot readers you're very intuitive i feel like you guys are you know using your intuition also um with everything in life so this is talking about romance this is talking about money i really do feel that way here the next card that came out was the two of cups exactly using your intuition with the people that you meet okay you know, watching out for red flags, not ignoring things. Yeah, like you guys are being very intuitive because you guys have all these new opportunities and new options coming towards you um, when it comes down to career and love. Here with the Nine of Swords, you're, giving, you're getting over a lot of stress, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. There's some anxiety that you still have in you, but you're trying to manage the anxiety, okay? Um, you're trying to stabilize yourself. Um, you've, you've been through a lot, <laughs> you know? Um, I know, I, I experienced, not, not, I mean, I guess everyone have anxiety to a certain point, but, you know, I, I just, I experienced the, ex the exact same thing. Life is coming at you very fast. You're trying to figure out how you could do it all. This is what it is for you. So you guys are trying to get over a lot of things, okay? A lot of disappointments even, okay? So here with the Nine of Swords, it's balancing, and you will, you will, you will find your, your uh, stable ground. Let's go ahead, let's get one more. Here I have the Death card, transformation, absolutely. So even though there's, you know, endings, there's always new beginnings. So we don't look at the Death card in a bad way. It's just like, Endings bring you brand new beginnings and you guys are, um, you're, you're hopeful for it here. What I'm really seeing here with the two of pinnacles, it's like, um, you guys have decisions you want to make, right? You guys have decisions that, um, and a lot of things that you're trying to balance out. That's what I was saying with that nine of swords. You know, you're, you're trying to balance your health, your work life, your love life, and, or when you do get a love life, you're trying to, some of you guys could be single mothers. So it's just so much that you guys are trying to do within a day. So you're trying to balance it all on top of a lot of endings and disappointments from not just people that you are, were, were connected to and love, but it could be friends. Someone could have abandoned you. You, you could have been like, I thought this person was my friend. And it just, something just happened. Okay. So balancing everything and you will. Okay. Okay. Here with the Knight of Wands. Hmm. So I do feel like some of you guys are going to, this is fire. That Knight of Wands is not what I generally think of it to be. Um, if you guys are dealing with anyone or dealt with players, you guys saw straight through that because it's a high priestess energy. So you already know the type of person they are or, or <laughs> who they could be. So I'm only seeing a nine of wands as someone very fiery, very passionate coming in your way, coming towards you. Um, and you guys may kind of know, you know, who they are. Here with the king of pentacles, this is so good because this is falling right up under the two of pentacles. So this is going to be someone who is very reliable. They're very stable when it comes down to finances. Um, it, they can be an earth sign, okay? So yeah, and it's like this person is very ambitious because this like this person is taking the bull by its horn. That's exactly what this card is. Very ambitious, and that's the fire that they have inside of them here with this Knight of Wands. They could be younger than you too, okay? Or there could be some age difference. You're you're older and they're younger, or however it goes. There could be some age difference because this this knight has a lot of fire and they're ready to go. And then the knight of pentacles is like, yeah, this is the reason why they're stable because they're very ambitious. They go after their dreams. At the bottom of the deck, ace of bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles. So huge opportunities. And like I said, this is a to me going to be a long term committed relationship. 
and finance is going to be really nice. So let's go, let's go ahead and let's get some more. Temperance. Wow. So here, you know, with the temperance card, remember I was talking about the balancing. This is you, you, you balancing. But a lot of you guys have been waiting. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Yes. Some of you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for your night to come in. And it's been so stressful. That's the reason why the Knight of Swords is there. Like, when is it going to happen? A lot of crying because I think you really thought that this wasn't going to be real. But it's coming. I just think that it's a lot of divine timing type of thing. Maybe you have to figure out how to love yourself. Maybe it's something that you have to do. If it's a twin flame journey, generally you guys are bouncing off of each other. There's some type of inspiration that you're giving them and you're getting inspiration from them. So you guys have to you guys have to complete something first before it happens. So I do feel a lot of anxiety and sadness because you've been waiting for so long. But it's coming. Here with the Eight of Pentacles, this is talking about building, building yourself up, working on you. See, perfect thing. That's exactly what I was saying. So Virgos, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. There you go again with the fire. So some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign and possibly earth. But, you know, this person could be possessing a fire energy. Let's get the high priestess. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This is what I was saying before, but... You guys make your money being very intuitive. <laughs> so I think a lot of, you know, especially for you guys who are tarot readers, very strong in that. And I also feel like someone who's coming towards you is using their intuition and they're going to come towards you. Why? Right next to it is the two of cups. I feel like this person knows that you are the one. They know it. Okay. And this is why they're coming so fast. Look at this. This person is leaving things behind. This is a new person. They don't want the mess. They don't want the, the, the drama. This person could be, you know, moving from across country or, you know what I mean? So you can meet this person, you know, walking down the street or, you know, this person will tell you, hey, I just moved here. So I really do feel like there is someone in your energy that um, you're going to be meeting very soon. Let's go ahead and get the two of cups. It's funny because a chariot card was trying to come out. So it's on its way, Virgo. It's coming. Okay. Ooh, here with the five of five of wands. So I think you guys have been thinking about love. I feel like you guys possibly could know this person. This may not have been a real thing. Um yeah, like maybe this wasn't something that really was serious with the seven of seven of pentacles because it's still this wondering. And the only reason why I say that is because of that knight of wands. That knight of wands is like in and out. So maybe you know this person, but there was really no connection. But I also feel like, you know, maybe you felt like you had to compete for someone in the past. But there is definitely someone coming back in very quickly. So this talks about very soon when you hear people say that. Okay, so someone is willing to fight for you. OK, if they even think somebody else is around, they'll do it. I do feel like someone is thinking about you, though, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get the nine of swords. Nine of swords. So I do feel like um, you've dealt with dishonesty in the past. Right. So you've dealt you dealt with a lot of dishonest people. And, you know, people were running away from the truth. They snuck away. They left. Um. I'm not even believing that it's a sneaking thing. I believe that this person was running away from the truth when they really had feelings for you or not. They really didn't have to. The point is, is that you've been dealing with a lot of dishonest energy. And that's another part of the reason why the nine of swords is there. The reason why you are crying and having sleepless nights. You're just dealing with the worst person. And see, this one made it worse with the temperance card because it's kind of like, <laughs> what, 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 what's happening, universe? When is it going to come? Here with at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. See, even though someone was maybe dishonest, you're going to get victory out of this for some odd reason. I don't know why. I see victory. I see clarity. <laughs> you're going to get it. So let's go ahead and get the death card. 
Wow. Whoa. We got the Knight of Cups. So you see what I'm saying? Someone is going to use their intuition. And you're very intuitive. I believe that your person is intuitive. The Death card is Scorpio. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with a Scorpio who's also intuitive. This person is going to view you like an empress if they don't already. If you don't know this person, they view you this way. Okay. Here with the Knight of Cups, this is it. We have two Knight of Cups here. So I believe you guys are dealing with an earth sign, fire, and water. Okay. But yeah, it's coming. And they're going to use their intuition. This is why I was saying this person knows that you are the one for them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the Knight of Wands. So, who Knight of Wands, yeah, you know, you were dealing with someone who came in, boom, and they were out just like, like that, out like a light. You, you liked them just enough and they left, okay? <laughs> so you may know this person, and I'm not joking that this is someone who was a player. I feel like this is more so the energy, okay? Um, but I do feel like here with the Nine of Swords, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and a lot of heartache that you guys dealt with because of sneaky energy. And right now, you guys are just healing from someone who either left or who was playing games. But your real person is going to come in and be very stable, and they're going to be honest with you, okay? And however the role works, I mean, it could have been someone from the past. This tempers talk about it was a while, so... Growth could have happened in between time with that temperance. It could have been a long time since you talked to this person. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the King of Pentacles. But it's going to happen very soon now, though. Yeah, someone is thinking about you. Oof. You are on someone's mind, Virgo. And you've been thinking about someone, too. Let's be honest. Okay. This is talking about being able to release you know, hurt and pain, being able to forgive, you know, people and just being able to just run free here with the Knight of Swords, being able to just say, okay, I'm done. I'm running free. But this is also a spe uh, aspect of like, maybe you talk to someone and like, you really made them feel something and they cannot let you go. And they're like, I just got to go back. It could be one of those things too here with the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Let's get the difference. See, you're tired. You're like, I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> you are worn out mentally. Worn out. Here again with the tower card. I feel like something is going to happen suddenly. Again, you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this is going to be a breakthrough. So no more waiting. I don't. I just don't see it. But I feel like you guys have been hurting on the inside. You've been waiting for so long for someone to, to be honest and who's going to be your person let's get the knight of cups and they're here see here waiting i still believe that this is someone that you guys know for some people it may not have been a relationship but you know them because here with the um uh hangman it's like you're waiting and this is also saying someone sees things from a different perspective Okay. Yeah. Look at the three of swords. So, you know, some of you guys know this person here with the three of swords. Look at this. And I feel like that's not you with, with your heart hurting anymore. See, this is talking about what you're about to get here with the six of pentacles. Whoa. I didn't expect that. So for some of you, this person is new or, or you just didn't really know who they, like you didn't know everything about them. But they've caused some, there's a lot of heartache. And this could be, like I said, because you've waited for so long. But yeah, there is this, um, someone seeing things from a different perspective. And this is you getting victory also. Truly. Okay. I mean, the games could have been played, but I feel like someone sees things differently. That could be that type of thing. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and get two cards for you. I know these videos are a little bit longer today just because today I had the time, okay? <laughs> um, let me go ahead and get one more. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is for Virgo. Okay. 
So the first one I have is hold off on the sex and allow sexual tensions to grow. Yeah, I'm all about this. Okay, like, yeah, this is, this is torment. This is, I like, I do this intentionally. What's so funny about this? This is hilarious. I was just talking about this the other day. <laughs> anyway, it says waiting may not be easy, but if you do so, it will give you enough time to form an emotional connection and build trust, making sex a more intimate experience. Listen, this is me to the T. Okay, and I think Virgos, a lot of a lot of Virgos are like this. So it may be hard because you may think the person is very attractive and very sexy, but you know, it's not a game if this is just who you are as a person. Okay, because like you, you don't know, like you don't like you know, you just gotta be careful about your body. So that's just a warning, okay, because someone is coming in. Here it says, pay attention to the false alarms. Ooh, this is like pay attention to the red flags. Oh, this comes out so much with Virgos. And this is the reason why you have to be careful about giving your body to people. It says, your reactions are alarms going off in your heart, telling you to take the plank out of your eyes and pointing at areas in life that need to change. Oh, so there could be some things that you guys need to change. And that could be another reason why there is this like delay, right? There's some things that you may have to do, okay? And your heart is kind of like, listen, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what you have to do. You could be ignoring it. But here it talks about taking a plank out of your eyes so you guys are able to see what's happening. Because when this love comes in, it's going to be very strong and um, you, you, it has to be right, okay? So this is what I have for you, Virgos. Beautiful reading. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, again, if you guys are new, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if anybody have any information or I'm sorry, any questions regarding um, readings, the information is inside the description box. And I will see you beautiful people back here again tomorrow. Bye, Virgo.